Hello students, today we will start chapter 6 fractions and the topic that you are going to learn in this video is equivalent fractions. But first let's revise about fractions. A fraction is a part of a whole. It represents one or more equal parts of a whole object. While writing a fraction, we put one number above another number with a line between them. The top number or numerator tells us how many parts we are talking about. The bottom number or denominator tells us how many parts there are all together. When something is divided into two equal parts, we call them halves. One piece out of two total pieces is one half. When something is divided into four equal parts, we call them fourths. One piece out of four total pieces is one fourth. Now let's start the discussion about equivalent fractions. Look at these rectangles. All are of the same size, but each rectangle has been divided into different number of parts. The fractions for the shaded region of each rectangle are as follows. One half of the rectangle is yellow, two fourths of the rectangle is yellow, three sixths of the rectangle is yellow, four eighths of the rectangle is yellow, and five tenths of the rectangle is yellow. Here, one half, two fourth, three sixth, four eight, and five tenth all represent half part of the whole rectangle. These fractions are called equivalent fractions. So we can say fractions that show the same part of the whole are called equivalent fractions. That is, one half is equal to two fourth is equal to three sixth is equal to. 4 8 is equal to 5 tenth. Now let us see how to find equivalent fractions. There are two methods to find equivalent fractions. They are 1 by multiplication, 2 by division. Let us first discuss about the first method that is by multiplication. When we multiply the numerator and denominator of a given fraction by same number, we get its equivalent fraction. To understand this better, let us solve one question. Find the equivalent fractions of 3 by 4. Now, to find the equivalent fractions, we will first multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fraction with the number 2. So when we multiply the numerator by 2, we get 6. And when we multiply the denominator by 2, we get 8. Now let's multiply with the number 5. We get 3 multiplied by 5 upon 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15 upon 20. And multiplying with the number 7, we get 3 multiplied by 7 upon 4 multiplied by 7 is equal to 21 upon 28. And multiplying by 8, we get 3 multiplied by 8 upon 4 multiplied by 8 is equal to 24 upon 32. So, 6 by 8, 15 by 20, 21 by 28, 24 by 32 are few equivalent fractions of 3 by 4. So like that, we can multiply the fractions with any number to get its equivalent fractions. But we should multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Now look at this question. Suppose we have to find the missing number in the given pair of equivalent fractions. The numerator of one fraction is missing. So we look at the denominators of both the fractions. Here, 15, which is the denominator of the missing numerator, is greater than 5 and is also a multiple of 5. So 
we have to find a number which when multiplied by 5 gives 15. We know that 5 multiplied by 3 gives 15. Since we multiply the denominator with 3, we also need to multiply the numerator by the same number to get the missing number. That is, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So, 6 is the missing numerator. Now let's discuss about the second method that is by division. Look at this question. Suppose we have to find the missing number in the given pair of equivalent fractions. Even here, we look at the denominators of both the fractions. Here, 21 is greater than 3 and is also a multiple of 3. And here the smaller number is the denominator of the missing number. So, we have to find a number by which when 21 is divided gives the quotient as 3. We know that 21 divided by 7 gives the quotient as 3. So to find the missing number, we also divide the numerator 14 by 7. And we get the quotient as 2. So the missing numerator is 2. Now let's discuss about checking equivalent fractions. We can check whether two fractions are equivalent or not by using cross multiplication. To understand this better, let's solve one question. Look at this question. Here, we have to check if 2 by 5 and 4 by 10 are equivalent. So here, first we cross multiply the numbers, that is, we multiply 2 by 10 and 5 by 4. We know that 2 multiplied by 10 is 20 and 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. Here we can see that both the products are equal. So since the products are equal, 2 by 5 and 4 by 10 are equivalent fractions. So students, that's all for today. Thank you.